Oh, man, this bug's killing me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world's first ever scrub -a mania That's right, ladies and gentlemen, scrub -a mania That's right. We're coming to you live from a back lot alley in an undisclosed location from parts unknown. You know, to avoid hassle by the man. But anyways, we are truly here for a momentous occasion. A momentous occasion, a one-time only point in history. One time this, only! This is the first ever scrub -a mania scrub -a mania That's right. This is where competitors compete from events and places all around the world hoping just to become number one in scrub. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been harassed by the man. Now we've moved 10 feet over, we should be okay. That's right, that's right. It looks like they're gonna leave us alone for now, but who knows? The man is mysterious in his ways of punishment and harassment. Back to the scrubs! For the record, my money's on Dick Lane. After winning the Northeastern scrub off, I think he has what it takes. That's, it, you know, it, it, it's an adamant assumption that, you know, to make that, you know, Dick Lane, since he did win the prestigious title of Scrub of the Year 2004. Did you see the patented dead mouse dick licking? Oh, how, how can I forget about it? How can he lose? How can he lose? But I'm gonna have to say, the early, the early pick for a landslide in my vote would have to be Paul Lee. He's an, he's an improvement. He has done some truly despicable, disgusting, and scrubbly things that I've seen in this ring and out in the streets. Just to break in the people. For I'm no gonna... reason at all, folks! No reason. no reason. There's no reason for this. But I see this man taking the tournament in that end. This is, you can quote me on this. My money's going up, Paulie. It's coming down to Paulie in the final scrub off. Well, it looks like the time for talking is over. It's over! The scrubs are entering the scrub arena. I see our first combatant entering the ring. Let's get down to the action. Before I get down to this scrub competition, there's something I want everyone out there to know. I, Alan Boutier, wasn't even scheduled to be here at the scrub competition tonight, the scrub off, scrub -a mania How do you think you're gonna have a world scrub championship without Alan Boutier? I'm gonna show you all what being a scrub is about right now. Shit. <laughs> I'm here with the Northwestern Regional Champion of Scrubdom, Big Aaron Hankin. How's it going there, Joe? It's going all right. We're looking at a fantastic evening of scrub competition. It truly looks to be a great evening for being a scrub. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think that this year I have a bag. I got it down pat. Well, I've been training real hard for this competition. I've been running four miles a day for the last four weeks. I haven't been showering. I haven't changed my socks. It's going down. That's some truly grueling training. Like, that sounds like some real A1 competition type stuff. It sounds to me like you're ready for this, and you're ready to bring the pain, or the smelliness, if you will, to any and all competitors that stand in your way. That's right. Now, what really inspires you to pursue the sport? I mean, who are your main influences that, that really got you started into the sport? And who, who, and who of them may still be around now that you may have to face tonight? Well, there's always, always the ever-present... 
God bless you, sir. <coughs> See, he's scrubbing out already. He's been sniffing. He's been sniffing pepper in the back room. Because he see what what most people don't know is that his secret weapon attack is sneezing on his opponent. As you know, there's always the ever present style of Dick Lane. There's of course everything that was taught to me by my master, the leader of the Foot Clan. And what a truly great competitor he was. I remember back when I was just first starting my announcing career, I mean, he was winning championships across the world. It's true. He took me under his wing when I was only 10 years old. Taught me everything he knew. It only took like three days, but... It sounds to me that's all the training you're going to need. I like getting sweaty. Yeah. And you can't compete without that. You know, I mean, that's just a fact of life. You can't do any kind of sporting activity, whether it be scrubbing out or playing football, you're going to get sweaty. I mean, that's just that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. well, best of luck to you, sir. Thank you. And I hope you have a truly great matchup here at Scrubber Mania. And maybe you'll walk out on top. Until then. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Dick Lane. I'm We're going to have a oh, 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 No, oh, gentlemen, save it for the square and square. Get out of here. Stop. Get the hell out of here, Dick Lane. You know, you did your interview. You get the hell out of here. You go get ready for your match. Hey, Warren, are you okay? Are you going to be all right to compete in tonight's competition? Are you safe? How did that armpit stench affect you so greatly? I mean, what was terrifying about it? What was, what was unhumanizing about it? Let us know. Let us know what to expect from Dick Lane. We need to know how you're going to beat that. How are you going to top that physical ability? I don't know, man. Oh my god, folks, he's gone out. He's out. His, his match is up next, and I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to try and get some rest back here. We're going to get some officials. We're going to get the Scrubber Mania damage control. And we're going to try and revive the no, man. No, no, no. We'll be right here. I think this stupid script. Uh, I don't find it funny. This contest is revolving around me because everybody knows I'm the biggest scrub. I haven't washed my hair in forever. I've granted. I took a shower today, but I still don't care. I think this is stupid. What's the point? Scrubs? Scrubs. There's scrubs all over the place. I'm a scrub. Tony's a scrub. I don't know about her. She's kind of scrubby. She doesn't need to be contested about it. If that even makes sense. But if it doesn't, Guess it will just add hilarity to this even more non-hilarious skit about scrubby people getting scrubbed up by stupid scrub competitions. I'm here with the Southern Regional Champion, Alan Boutier, otherwise known as the Scrubbly One. Could you say that again, what my title is? Alan Boutier, otherwise known <laughs> as the Scrubbly One. That's right. That's right, I'm the Scrubbly One. The Southern Regional Champion, and I'm not even invited to compete here at the World Championship. This is an insult, and this is an outrage. Did you see that? I, I stuck poo in my nose. Who's going to stick poo in their nose? It's true. No, no one's going to deny the fact that you gave out a great performance in that match. I mean, no one expected you to stick your finger in your own butt and go on and pick your nose with the liquefied poo goo that was on your finger. That was truly amazing. I couldn't believe it. And now to kill my commentating friend, Tony, but he's out back. He's getting ready. I said I came here to compete and to show you what a real scrub was, and that's exactly what I did. There's no denying the fact, but I mean... Who can really say that they're better than one competitor over another? I mean, we have truly a lot of great champions here. This is a collection. I am scrubbier than Dick Lane himself. Well, I'm not one to pass judgment because I'm supposed to be biased in my, in my match calling, but I'm going to have to go ahead and say, I don't think Dick Lane would agree with that fact. Dick Lane can eat his own shit for all I care. I can't believe you just said that. You may or may not have sealed your own fate. You have to. You keep forgetting the fact, or maybe you just don't remember. 
that Dick Lane lived in Dead Rat. I put poo in my nose. That is true. It'll have to be. I left. put my own poo in my nose. It's going to be have to left up to the to, to the judges to decide. With the best of luck to you, sir. And I hope you have a truly great competition in the square and square. Yes, I, I understand. Poo in the nose. Good stuff. Good beans. I'll be back. champion of scrubdom, insane Dickie Lane. Now this man has done some truly amazing and also terrifying things in the squared square that is the scrubdom arena. Now I'm here, this man's here, he's going to tell us how he prepares for the match and how he really just got around to having that title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, last month I won the Northeastern title by licking the dead mouse. Truly an unbelievable act on its own. Tonight, I'm going to cut off my pubes, rub them all over my face, rub feces all over my body. I'm covered in urine right now. Do you smell that? I haven't taken a shower. Well, I did smell something a little foul, but I wasn't going to say anything. I've been roasting myself in cabbage. Really? Cabbage? I've been having sex with skunks. How can you even stand the stench, sir? I mean, urine and cabbage is one thing, but a skunk? That gets around for miles. I mean, how is it that you can stand being a ground zero? Well, I have always been a scrub. If you didn't know that character from Charlie Brown with the dust and stuff going around him, yes, that, 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 well, that character was going? based on me. Um, if you didn't know that, I was, a, I was a friend of Schultz. Just how old are you, sir? Because the, the Peanuts gang came around in the late 60s, and I'm going to have to say... You don't look a day over 25. Well, well the, the excruciating workout of scrub them has kept my body in mint condition, and I'm only uh, 65 and a half today. Well, that's truly <laughs> unbelievable on itself, sir, but how do you stay looking so young? There's got to be some kind of, like, Lazarus pit or magical tonic you drink. I mean, really, what makes you so scrubby but yet stay so young at the same time? Let's just say that semen and feces are good exfoliants for the flesh. Well, I did not know that, sir. Well, you have I, a great match. I gotta get ready. And I hope, you know. Well, it looks like Dick Lane is ready for his matchup. Let's get on down.
receives. Folks, I can't believe it. This man. I am close to out. That's sick. I'm out of here. Just as my partner said, this man took a dump on the ground, his own, mind you, still warm, and can, proceeded to devour it whole, piece by piece, human fecal matter. Who knows what kind of things have gone in there? This man is like a dead rat. I could hear you yelling. Who's to say he wouldn't eat his own feces again? Or perhaps even a third time. We're never going to know that. But what I do know is that tonight, Dick Lane has won the 2005 championship scrub-off. I did it. I did it! <laughs> Let me get a few words with the new champ. Who didn't think that Dick Lane was going to do it? Dick Lane ate a dead mouse last year. Dick Lane eats his own feces this year. That's what goes down. No one can stop me. Each year, I bring it the next step. And no one will ever stop me. Because I'm Dick Lane and I'm the champ. And I will eat your children and, and my own feces. That is true. He has brought it to another level. I see this man being a true legend in the halls of Scrubdom. I'm trying to have a damn civilized competition. Ah! Oh, it's sick! It's oh! I'm done! I'm done! You hear me? Done! It's not over. We still gotta plug the next pay-per-view, man. Where you going? I'm just finished TV, Clark. Yeah. Off.